Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, I'm going to try some uh, Fortnite. Uh, running on 1920 by 1200 you can see on the screen. We're going to try it on Epic and I know it's not going to get up to a six, full 60 FPS, but we're going to try it anyway. Alright, so this is real time and uh, let's see what we can do. Dun, 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 dun. Look, it's already on 23 FPS. So let's go ahead and start the game. Now, I'm not an expert at this game, but I do have an idea of how to play this game on a MacBook. Now, and I did try this game in the native uh, Mac um, environment, and for me, it didn't play too well at all. Looks like we're, what, 24 and nothing's really going on. I mean, I like, it, it's pretty looking, it's a pretty looking game. But, uh, you know, V-Sync's on right now and it looks like it's stutter and I wouldn't recommend playing uh, with these settings at all. You know, uh, coming from All right, let's go ahead and jump out. Pretty looking game, I tell you. Now, coming from PUBG, like I started to say earlier, it's very different. It looks kind of um, cartoony like. So, uh, looks like we're getting around 21. And let's see if we can find something in this uh, shack that's not built up. I hear something. You know, plenty of bullets and everything, but I need a gun. I hear a, a chest or something. It might be upstairs. Can I get that? Okay, so... Looks like... Oh, here we go. I'm already safe, so... Now we can at least try to kill somebody. And I did say try to kill somebody. I don't know if you can go prone or anything like that. So, but yeah, this is not, you know, this is just a test on the epic setting, if I'm not mistaken. The sky's pretty. Everything looks pretty. The, even the little barrier thing looks pretty. Yeah, let's go. Oh, look at funny looking cars. Yeah, it's like a a cartoon game. Like PUBG. I, well, I tell you, the controls um, seem like they're a little bit more responsive than PUBG. But uh, it doesn't have that scary effect. You know, like when you're playing PUBG, you don't know. I mean, it's like the world has ended, and 
everybody's out to kill each other. This is more, I mean, I get just like I'm playing a, a Bugs Bunny game or something. I mean, not literally Bugs Bunny, but, you know, I'm waiting for Anvil to fall out of the ceiling. We're getting around 19 FPS. Uh oh. Went to the retail. What does that mean? What is that? Is that the health of the tree? Can you blow the tree up? I don't see anybody over here, but you never know. Damn. Well, that was it. And I'm not going to spectate this. Hmm. But yeah, that was... Uh, let's see what those settings were. Uh, 1920 by 1200. And the 16 by 10 aspect, aspect ratio. Um, on epic setting. Next, we'll be trying um, high. Okay? Alright, next setting we are picking is the high setting. And of course, 1920 by 1200 VC on for this. So let's go ahead and load up, see how well it runs. Man, it's a lot going on in this game. I mean, all these add ons and this, and this, and dancing, and that's eh, a little too much for me. So here we go. Looks like we're getting a little bit more FPS. Uh, looks like around 32. Of course, where we're looking at the sky then. But I think we're getting like about five or six more than what we were getting. It's not, it doesn't have that like laggy uh, feeling. And we are running this on a MacBook 2016 MacBook Pro. So just in case. So I guess you can like start off with the certain guns and things if you like, if you buy them. I'm just assuming, but that's what it looks like. Oh, sorry about that. Phone calls on the side. Of me. I mean the, the the characters and everything. They look nice. They're detailed, but I like. The way PUBG looks, cause it just looks like like there's no hope left. You know what I mean? And this this right here, man, a, a freaking party bus. I mean, I get the party bus, but damn, <laughs> a party bus with a balloon. How is it even moving, man? I mean, at least they have a aeroplane on PUBG. So everybody's jumping out. All right, I'll jump out now. This looks better. I mean, it, it looks really well. I want to get away from everybody. Now. Somebody over there. I would have much rather had a parachute. Damn, already. Jesus. It's a good name for it. Freaking fatal fields with no weapons, right? Upstairs. I 
I'm dead. I know I'm dead. But it uh, looks like we're getting a steady 26. Well, it was. I don't need no damn wood. Plenty of bandages. You can never have too many bandages. I'll probably run into a bullet. Uh, seems like. Damn, I told you. Not a damn thing in here. Ooh, run, 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 run. Just keep on running. Damn, well, just keep going. All that jumping around, somebody's going to see me and pop me in the head. I need a gun. I wouldn't dare climb that. Man, I feel a bullet coming on. I'm running back outside of the circle. Just hoping something's in here. Not a damn thing, just bullets. I heard something. Did you guys hear that? Oh, give me a break. I don't know where it's coming from, but I hear it. Oh, to hell with it. Let's keep going. I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna win with an axe. I don't see anybody. Where'd he come from? Oh. He came up on the other side, I'm assuming. Oh, well. 
That sucked. All right. Okay, here we are. We're back into the settings menu, and we're going to go out with all medium across the board in the same resolution and everything like that. So let's get out of here. Queuing up to play. Okay, this one looks like it's uh, moving a little bit better. I mean, you can see the fluidity. Look at these guys over there. <laughs> Man, that made me laugh. <laughs> Friday the 13th on the air. Alright. Man, I wonder which one of those guys is going to kill me. Alright, notice that the uh, skies changed colors. Looks like it's going to night or something. Alright, let's go ahead and jump out. Looks like we're landing in the celery forest. Probably along with some other people. Look at this shit. See? Look, somebody's already landed right there. Look at him running. Man. Storm forming in 55 seconds. So far, so good with the FPS, right? And this, I would have to say, would be my recommended setting. It's not too low. Man, we need to find somewhere to hide. Now, I have noticed in this game, how, where do you hide? Where do bullets come from? I think this is a shotgun that I have. I need to get out. I need to hide somewhere. Look at that big smiley face thingy. Looks like a playground. Sitting duck. Sound like it's coming from over here. There he is. <laughs> Shit. You know what? I never would have killed him. He's too far away, and I got a shotgun.
these towns look good, don't they? There's somebody. Look. Look at him. Look at him. does he have to shoot me with one time like that a bunch of crap but uh that was really really smooth so we're gonna come back and we're gonna jump down one more resolution okay all right here we are we're back again with the same game fortnite at the 1920 by 1200 resolution and we're going all low as you can see all the settings right there on the screen so let's back out of here start the game and see how well it goes well we i have it capped at 60 so um it's not, it shouldn't even go higher than that but i can already see some um scaggly lines uh on the character it's not really smooth look like i'm playing some dos game with voxel graphics <laughs> wow Looks like the resolution scale is way down. But it is running good. <laughs> now, this game, you can, can you... Oh, there's the guns. I was wondering where people were getting them from. Take them all. Now, I haven't been able to climb anything. I believe this is what that guy shot me with. He had to have shot me with this. So it seems that if you spend some money or some points or whatever that you can get, uh oh. You can uh, start off with a game. I mean, with a gun or a weapon or, or whatnot. So here we are running all low on this game and we are running this on a macbook uh, 2016 macbook pro and everybody's jumping out so we should too <laughs> man this is one kitty game i mean like this is something your kids could play i'm not saying it's kitty but it just has that you know that my little pony thing it just looks like kid stuff but kids spend money right mommy mommy get this get this look at this guy Shh. did i seriously just mess that up he's going to blow my back off I am getting out of here because that guy has a gun and I believe there might be some guns in this tunnel I remember please be some guns in this tunnel be something damn trap thirteen bullets man This is like a, a oh okay, like a bunker. There 
Everybody's fighting at the tomato factory. All right, let's go get some action, I suppose. I don't think you can go into first person view either. I tried, I was hitting all kinds of buttons. Couldn't do it. I know somebody can see me. Whoever's down there know they can see me. I also haven't heard any vehicles riding around. I heard some footsteps, I think. Where's he at? You know, that was just blind luck, sons and daughters. How did he see me, though? I mean, like... I don't see how he saw me. Okay. Damn. Give him the white position. Stop that. Oh my God, where'd it come from? See? What the hell? Oh. Look at all this. Look at all that mess. I mean, what I do like about this, though, is like all the weapons are in the open that you can see. Um, instead of going into a menu like in PUBG. Uh, but I guess it both has this advantage. If you're in a rush, you can just run, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. PUBG, you gotta run. Menu opens up. If you're really good, you can select what you need and get get the hell out, you know. Um, this game doesn't feel like it's a, a dystopian future or anything, which is the kind of games that I like uh, when I'm playing. Uh, I, I like to feel like there's just no hope left for mankind and whatnot. Uh, but this game is just kind of cartoony. And it's... I don't know. It just has that rubbery feel look to it. But it's an okay game. And um, as far as running on a MacBook Pro, uh, I would recommend the medium setting at 1920 by 1200 on the uh, MacBook Pro 2016. Ran pretty good, as you saw when we were playing. Um, what else? What else can I say about this game? Um, I, I don't hear the. Let me see if I can. I don't really hear the fans. They're on, but I don't hear them like like really loud. Let me see if I can bring up a that uh, overlay and see if it'll tell me what the temperature is. There we go. Oh, it looked like it's spiking up to uh, 100C at one point. And I hope it records. So it looks like the GPU is right at 68C holding steady and the CPU is uh, around 93. What is he doing? He's building something. Whatever that is. Um, yeah, it's spiking up to 100. Uh, I can hear the fans just a tad bit. Uh, but um, the controls on this, I think, is better than in PUBG. It's more responsive, uh, especially if you're playing with a controller. I, I also try to play this in the um, Mac environment, and it just wouldn't work for me. Uh, 
it was kind of laggy a little bit. Maybe it was just my setup. But I wouldn't recommend playing any game in a Mac operating system environment unless it's, you know, some, some you know, indie developed game that's probably, like, really small. Uh, doesn't take up a lot of memory. Uh, probably low in gigabytes on hard drive space and stuff like that. So something like Ruiner or um, what's that one game? Um, what a little guy where you walk and, uh, and the, the ground builds under your feet as you walk. Uh, I forget the name of the game, but he, it's like a, a guy telling a story as you play that game. Games like that. Those are the type of games that I would play on a Mac. Uh, point and click games. But any uh, first person, third person shooting games, uh, I wouldn't play. I'm pretty sure there are people that play because there are games on Steam like Batman Arkham Asylum that I was playing in the Mac environment and it was uh you know so yeah that that's it for this game on Fortnite uh play on medium uh to get the best out of this game if you have this computer all right well me poo out thanks for uh watching oh yeah this guy's just like that I had to come back <laughs> what Let's see, and got a scope. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm out again, and and thanks everyone for subscribing and uh, checking out my vids.